Welcome to Far Cry 5. Just bear with me for a second, there's something very important I have to do. Right. Um, it's very important to switch that music off. Not just because it's annoying, but because it tends to play copyrighted music, so if I included that copyrighted music in any YouTube videos, I'd probably get a copyright strike. So even though I've got uh, music switched off, uh, if, you, if you're going to do any um, videos out to YouTube, take, take care of that thing first. <laughs> That's my advice. Anyway, this, um, this video, uh, what I'm going to try to do is just um, explain my ideas right. for having a simple, a simple game of Far Cry 5. Uh, just, just, you know, just, just try to remove some of the complexity out of it. You may not be a first-person gamer. You might receive the um, game as a gift. Uh, you may not play very often. You may not want to put a lot of time into it. So. Um, I will just give you a description of my ideas for a simple game. Um, I thought about this and yep. I'm going to just stay on the island. Uh, the reason being um, the island wasn't embargoed before they release the game, so just about everyone's already covered the island. Actually, it was covered even before the game was released. So I'll just do the same thing. I'll just stay, stick on the island, because honestly, I don't, I don't want to do any, um, any spoilers for anybody either. Uh, but if you're concerned about spoilers, um, even, even ones on the, I the island itself, uh, switch off now. Uh, there's no much. There's no point in putting up with spoilers if you don't want to get them put up with. Don't want to put up with them. Um, all right. So first things first. Um, I hear that sound. It sounds like the Predator, doesn't it? It always makes me think of the movie The Predator when I hear that. I wonder if they put it in as a bit of a joke. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I always do recommend you. Uh, play with a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, it's, I'm obviously playing this on a PC. It is. Um, it's a bit more difficult playing with a keyboard and a mouse, but I think it's. Um, I think it's worth it. Uh, I might give a couple of tips about um, keyboard usage at the end of this video. Uh, I won't bore you with the details now about where you position your fingers and stuff like that. Uh, the big difference is if you when you aim and shoot with a mouse, it's much much faster and smoother, and you can do things like this, you know, turn right, right around 180 degrees or whatever. Uh, it's a bit harder doing that um, on a controller. Uh, you'll find your your shooting is um, much better using a using a mouse. An alternative, um, instead of using a keyboard, is to use a controller and a mouse. Um, hold onto the controller in your left hand and the mouse in your right hand. Shoot with your um, shoot with the mouse. Um, control walking, driving, and so on with the controller. Uh, five, Far Cry Five is a good game in that it it supports both controller and a mouse at the same time. Other games don't always do that. They'll they'll switch into one mode or the other. Uh, so it's something to think about. Uh, the first thing I'll just show you what my um, loadout looks like okay uh, here I've got a gun uh, this is a pistol and the first thing you want to do um, after you acquire your um, your pistol is to and some money buy a silencer put a silencer on it that's very important uh, the other one I just got here is a a sniper rifle and again as soon as you can put a put a silencer on it um, 
the Far Cry 5 is a very aggressive game. If any enemies anywhere near you hear a gunshot, they will come looking for you. Um, that's fun, but um, if you're just wanting to go somewhere, that can be actually rather irritating. So gunshots and explosions will bring them very quickly, so um, start to think silences. Uh, for melee weapons, um, I actually use a shovel. I reckon it's the most fun melee weapon. I've, I've also got a baseball bat there, but it's 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 a really fun weapon. I'll show you why. It's actually quite a powerful weapon too. Um, okay, you can sneak up um, behind someone and just hit them in the back of the head like you um, do in your normal takedowns, but you can also do this. You hear that? Very very good, and you actually get. Um, at least in the setup that I've currently got, you'll get about nine shovels. And you can either just pick up more shovels, or you can actually, if you find a general store, you can actually reset the um, number of sh shovels back to nine again. You don't sort of have to buy any more unless you want to buy one of the, um, the special shovels. Okay. Uh, the second thing that you should start to think about if you want to get the game running quickly is your perks okay which is control with this menu here right it looks it looks very complicated but it's not really you've got a number of points you can spe spend them however you feel like through your perks um, I always rec I recommend you start to buy some health perks first to get a bit more health that'll just make you last a little bit longer um, after that even though I haven't done it myself what you want to do is spend your perks on an additional holster and then after that uh, weapons collector which I otherwise you're restricted to carrying only two weapons and um, you can only change your weapons when you find a general store so that um, so the second thing you want to do, um, spend your perk points on, is um, getting additional holsters and being able to carry more weapons. Uh, so I think those are the two big ones. Um, go for health first and then go for holsters after that. And money, um, which you'll get from um, hunting and stuff like that. Um, spend that on um, attachments like silences and extra magazines you will tend to uh, find the weapons um, just kind of lying around um, which is a lot cheaper than buying them that's what I usually do I, I, I find a new weapon and then I go and um, upgrade it using whatever money I've got here I've got about uh, three four thousand um, dollars there alright so oops ah, what am I doing uh, hmm. alright yes yeah, so the keys are a little bit strange okay you, you'll, you'll find me moving around a little bit jerking that's because I used a controller for years and now gone back to using a, a keyboard again so I'm following my own advice but you know it takes about oh, a week um, to sort of for the muscle memory to come back if you know what I'm talking about um, so I another thing I recommend is um, don't be shy about starting a game playing around for a little while and then uh, getting getting some stuff sorted out and then then restarting it and playing the second game a little bit better this is al already my uh, second game I didn't finish the first game of course um, that would take me a long time um, it uh, I just did the first island and some of the other simple missions first and then I just restarted the game again anyway we'll just go down and hopefully find uh, the guy of the general store Oh, you can also put weapons away. Uh, I hate, I hate the weapons floating around in my field of view. 
when I'm not doing anything with them that's very irritating so it's good Far Cry 5 has fi fixed that one up and he was there oh no there he is Okay, uh, General Shops are either um, these guys, um, these people walking around on foot that you've got to find, usually know where they are approximately, and some of the general stores will also be fixed. Uh, so don't don't worry about that. You'll 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 find plenty of them. Okay, my weapons. I've just got a couple of alternatives uh, to the the what I recommend a silenced pistol and a silent um, sniper rifle and a shovel as a melee weapon uh, so I've already got those plenty of other um, stuff to um, muck around with um, if you're a, a weapons fanatic I'm not I just find it really complicated I just have about four weapons that I like and stick with them. Uh, but a another recommendation is a shotgun which you can also put a silencer on but it's not all that effective as far as I can work out. It, it, um, dead, it's more like a suppressor than a silencer I think um, I think that's the correct description of it. Uh, it's good for shooting animals um, quickly when you get attacked and stuff like that. If you've played other Far Cry games, you'll know you'll get attacked pretty often. Uh, long range weapons. Okay, they've got the um, one of the sniper rifles there. There's, there are better ones. That's the one that I've found. You'll find this one lying all over the place. And as soon as you can, put a good scope on it, put a good magazine on it, and put a silencer on it. Not much point having a sniper rifle that sounds like a cannon going off. Uh, it's not. It'll ruin. It'll ruin your stealth. Uh, okay. The other uh, thing is is the recurve. In some ways, the recurve is actually better than a sniper rifle. I usually use a recurve. Uh, the reason being, at least in other Far Cry games, you can use it to shoot fire arrows and explosives as well. So it's a bit more um, general purpose than a sniper rifle. Uh, if you don't have room for um, all, the, all the weapons you want to carry. the um, Although uh, I haven't played through this game all that much yet, but um, apparently there are explosive bullets and stuff like that that you can get hold of. So maybe the... Um, the sniper rifle, once it's got exploding bullets and stuff like that, would be just as useful as the uh, a recurve. But I, I, I usually use a um, a recurve for um, hunting as well. I think you'll get more skins and meat if you use it, but don't quote me on that. I can't quite remember. Uh, again, once you get it, um, the first thing you want to do is put a better sight on it. Uh, which I've done there, and there's the other. Um, I've also bought some um, fire arrows, some exploding arrows as well. Uh, so that's all pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, but you, if you want to carry a lot of weapons around, you've got to get those extra holsters. Uh, so we'll not muck this up. Um, when it, it comes to finding where things are, uh, Far Cry 4 used to have you climbing these bell towers all over the place. They don't use that system in this game. You actually talk to people or read things and that's the way you find out where new locations are, new missions and stuff like that. So I think, um, I think some people actually miss that because um, some people can't be bothered reading you don't even have to read the text, you just got to hit the read button and then whatever it says will be registered as a mission or whatever. You don't. Some people are just too impatient to read it, so 
I'm pretty sure you don't have to actually physically read it, you just got to push the read button. But I'll just give you an example of this guy. Um, Never worry too deeply about breaking a line or the fish that got away. You know, the multiverse theory hypothesizes that there are an infinite amount of Earths, representing an infinite amount of variations on timing, decisions, and outcomes. So, I figure that there's at least a dozen other versions of our world where you caught that fish after all. But I guess that would also mean that on those other Earths, you lost all the fish you caught on this Earth. Hmm. Best not to think about it too much. I uh, couldn't agree there. We've been more um, overthinking things. It's actually an infinite number of Earths that you'll catch the infinite number of fish on if you want to go to the extreme, but... Anyway, let's not, not talk about cosmology. Uh, just, um, just try, I'll just show you one other thing. Um, you know, if the game's getting the better of you and you're starting to feel a bit frustrated, sh shoot beer bottles. That's what I do. <laughs> so, you know, when your stealth mission isn't going too well or something like that. This is going to give me great stories to tell my grandkids. Uh, another point is your companions. Uh, which I will show you in a second. The ones that I've already got. Uh, you can see there that I've got Boomer. Everybody knows about Boomer because they've been advertising it for the last couple of months. Um, I do I do recommend you get Boomer first. Um, you don't have to. There's plenty of other choose from here. But um, he's a hunting dog. So if you take him out hunting, he will highlight all the game for you. Uh, so you don't have to um, worry about crafting syringes and that initially. Which is can be a bit fiddly if you can't find the raw ingredients. So yeah, I, I, I recommend... Um, I recommend Boomer. I'll just show you Boomer. I guess the other guy will wander off now. Oh, the other reason I picked this fellow was because um, he's actually a he's he's a, he's a recoil bow user, so he um, he will engage the enemy from a distance. So that's why I uh, I use him as well for that for that special ability. Uh, these are the fighters. They're not. You'll find fighters all over the place. Um, the specialist people are the ones that are hard to find. Anyway, I'll say, say no more about that. You can go and figure that out for yourself. See you in the funny paper. Okay. Where's my dog? Might take a while to find me. He's off. There he is. Hello, Boomer. Whoops. <coughs> Ah, uh, what have I done? Don't even know how to move yet, do I? So he's a very friendly dog. Okay. Um, there's not actually a lot of game on this island, so I probably can't demonstrate the hunting, but um, that's all right. You have to. Uh, you can go and figure that one out for yourself. Um, you also see, I'll see if I can find one, I can't remember where it was. I think there's one over here somewhere. Or not. <laughs> this island's so small you know your way around it. Um, try out that way. Oh, that was strange. Always, always surprises. Oh, oh, well, there's some, he's found something. Oh, a duck. All right. Oh, I'm not going to shoot a duck just yet. Jesus. That's pathetic. Oh, I'll shoot a duck if I have to shoot a duck, but I'm not going to shoot a duck. 
That's just kind of sad. Um. Oh. That's interesting. I've got some enemies. Alright. Um. I've probably cleared all this out. Maybe they've, they've respawned. Alright, we just won't bother engaging them. I'm sure everybody knows how to attack. You can, you'll, you'll <laughs> figure out how to deal with enemies soon enough. Um, where are we? Uh, okay, just I'll just fast travel to here so I get my bearings. Yeah, my poor old system is struggling a little bit. The game is only barely playable on the um, the setup I've got at the moment. Uh, as long as you can get it up to around 30, 30 frames per second, it's not too bad, but the, um, the serious players would say that's not good enough. They'd say you've got to get it up to 60 frames per second. Alright, you find these um, things everywhere. I I don't know if they're um, watchtowers for fires or hunting platforms or what. I suspect they're hunting plat platforms actually. Don't know that much about Man Montana. Um, but honestly, if you're lazy, just sit up here with your recurve or your, your, um, your sniper rifle. Um, you've got Boomer on the ground. Just send him, send him over to attack, or um, or uh, flash out any 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 game that you want. It's a lazy way of hunting. <laughs> uh, the reason why you do hunting, um, other than it being fun, is um, as long as you don't think about the animals too much. <laughs> um, is it's a quick way of making money, um, so you can afford all your all your um, expensive weapons attachments and other things alright so just um okay you can either tell him to move to into a position or actually um, at at attack a target I won't show you that I'll let you figure that out for yourself okay uh, crafting the only thing I recommend you craft is a hunting syringe. They call it the ultimate hunter. I'll just try to demonstrate that. One thing about Boomer is noisy as. Um, it doesn't affect the stealth, but <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of annoying. I, I I don't know of any way of switching it off. He's just kind of blundering around and growling and barking all the time. It just after about ten minutes kind of gets a bit old but anyway you find out what I'm talking about uh, so if anyone does know a way of um, toning him down a little um, leave, leave a comment I'd appreciate it okay so this is a hunting syringe here uh, there's plenty of other syringes but um, just worry about this syringe uh, you got to go out and collect three different weeds to make it it's kind of a little bit annoying that's why I prefer to use um, Boomer initially uh, to 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 highlight um, game and stuff. Other than that, if you're not going to use dogs or partners or whatever, um, uh, you you you'll find the game if you just if you move around very quietly, you will find it. Um, otherwise, if you're in a hurry, just um, uh, consume one of these things, and it's just the basic. You know the. It's also it's also appears to be timed. Oh, there. Let's get that one wrong. Uh, you can see there's a timing, timing thing down there on the right. So honestly, there's. Even though I'm getting audible indications, I'm not really finding anything. Uh, there's no ducks around. Um, but anyway, when you when you get off this island, you'll find a lot. A lot more game. 
Um, so I'll stick with my embargo. I won't. I won't. I won't go off the island. Um. Oh, there is. Yeah, I forgot. There's one more perk that you should get. Uh, just go to inventory again. So one more other perk that you should get. I forgot about it. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's cheap. Uh, the grappling hook. Um, if you don't get the grapple, um, you can't use the grapple points. But it's cheap, so uh, you get it. You get it pr pretty pretty well straight straight away. <laughs> All these other ones are really expensive. I mean, eight eight points, nine points. They um they they make you work for them. Um, the, w the quickest way of getting these um, experience points, of course, is to go out and do missions. Um, if you go out and do missions, um, you'll 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 get them soon enough. Okay. Right. I got the. Uh, Boomer, crafting, ultimate hunter, long range weapon, yep, pistol, shotgun, Malay. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Um, but one last thing I recommend is um, if you're going to move around, especially if you're walking, and even even when you got you're doing vehicles. Um, initially, at the start, try to stay off the road unless you like fighting a lot. Um, this game is very... Hello, Boomer. This game is very aggressive. Um, at least initially, uh, you get swarmed on the roads. But give it a couple of tries and you'll, you'll find out exactly what I'm talking about. So... Uh, the good thing about this sort of um, open mountain country is you can move along ridge lines and stuff like that. Uh, it's not like Far Cry 4 where you had a lot of cliffs and things. There are cliffs, but um, in a different area, not in this area. So just move along the uh, ridge lines. Uh, you'll find a lot of uh, long grass and you'll get attacked by animals, but um, that's kind of um, preferable to being swarmed by enemies. Um, but don't don't get disheartened by the swarming. I have been told that as you clear outposts, the swarming on the roads will decrease, and well, which makes sense because you're building up the resistance, so you're gradually wearing the enemy down, um, and you'll get swarmed less. Uh, just one other point: if you look to the top. First thing you'll notice there is no mini map. They've done away with the mini map. If you look at the top, I'll try to get where, where it's good contrast. You can see there's a compass at the top. So I'm facing directly at end now, where that little um, that little uh, marker is. Um, north, north, I mean, sorry. Uh, you'll see there's something of interest over there. Um, the other thing is. Keep your eye on that 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 uh, light grey bar because if you've uh, shot something when you're hunting, they don't necessarily die straight away. They kind of hop away for a little while and then and then die. So you've either got to follow them if you can. Um, originally, when I did this, I just thought there was something wrong with my hunting because I'd shoot the things and then they'd run off. And I thought, well, what what's going on? Do I need a more powerful weapon? And it actually means they've been more, more they have been um, uh, fatally injured, but um, they take a little while to die. And and when there's a body out there, you actually see a little a little X marked on that um, that light grey bar there. Um, it also marks um, enemies, fallen enemies, and also even even if uh, the enemy has something that you've sort of missed like like an arrow or a shovel or something the the actual actually stays say marked even after you've kind of um, dealt with the enemy but as soon as you sort of move out of the um, the cell used by the game the the X will um, fade, fade away and you won't you won't see it again so that means um, if you have shot something fatally um, you do want to uh, 
chase after it sooner or later pretty pretty quickly because if you leave it too long it just disappears <laughs> and you and you won't you, you won't you won't find it again anyway uh that's about it um i uh, hope people find um my some pe some people find my ideas about uh about a simple game appealing i think um other people want to work out all the details for themselves and that's good um, I wasn't not really planning on doing a walkthrough or anything like that unless people really really want me to to be honest I think my um, I play so badly that uh, my walkthroughs would be pretty tedious but I, I, I don't know that that's kind of appealing too you know sometimes people want to see um, how shall we put this politely a more average player compared to some of the people who can get through the whole game in 20 hours and stuff like that. Um, anyway, that's enough for me, so um, I'll see you next time.